Hey everyone, it's me, Claire, from online, and you are watching my return to YouTube. I have taken an extended break from this platform, but I've been active elsewhere. However, if you don't really follow me anywhere else, or you just like to get your journaling inspiration on YouTube, you might not know that I did move into a Hobonichi Cousin Spring Start, and if you are going to have some a colorful response to this, please just know that I actually am a Hobonichi Cousin Spring Start girly. Like that's just who I've always been, or at least since uh, 2021. <laughs> so from 2021 into 2022, and then 2022 into 2023, this was the sole journal slash planner that I used, and I loved it so much. I really got into journaling in a different way and kind of like marrying the planning and scrapbooking memory keeping together into really what a lot of us um, have come to know and love about the Hobonichi system. Just the fact that like it can be so versatile, dynamic, like I really enjoyed it. So anyway, two full years of being in a spring start. And then I kind of went on a little adventure. I went on some side quests and I played around in a few A6s. I decided to get a January start because I was like, oh, is the April to March thing working for me? I don't know. And then a lot of you guys know, if you've been following me, you know that I was in a common planner, B6, full year, notice the date, 2024. I started it in October. I started the daily page in October. If this is the first video you're seeing of mine, go look at some of my past videos. I just want to go on record and say I love this journal so much. I love what Catherine and her team did at Sterling Inc. This is an incredible product and I'm so happy that I tried it. I love the B6 gold foil edges. Like, are you kidding me? It really, I mean, I just, I can't say enough good things about it. And also I just have to go back to my roots. I don't know how else to say it or why I even feel like I need to defend myself. I don't really know what else to say. <laughs> But just know that I'm very excited to be back in a Spring Start Cousin. It just makes sense for me. I don't know. Look, I just had to say that. I'm also like so parched today. I'm feeling a little bit, not stage fright. I'm just feeling a little weird. Like I am no stranger to talking to a camera. I am no stranger to showing my process and like showing where I'm at with things. But for whatever reason, I'm like in my head about filming this today. So I thought that the easiest thing for us to do to kind of like get back into it is just to have like a very unfussy, minimally edited flip through of what I have going on so far in my cousin spring start. So that started April 1st. It's April 20th today. I also thought that this would be a good time to film because I am meeting up with a friend later and we are gonna do a little bit of back journaling. I haven't printed pictures yet from this week. Um, there's some washi tape that I wanted to add and so there are some blank spaces, which again, I'm not afraid to like leave some pages unadorned, but I thought this would be a good time to show you like kind of how things are mid month. So this won't be like a legitimate, like, hey, everything's fully finished, a flip through. I'm saying that it's gonna be short, but as I'm flipping through, I'm gonna like mention where I got some things here and there. If I didn't hit on something or you have a specific question, please do let me know in the comments because I do intend on filming monthly flip throughs just to like keep up with it. I think that I enjoy doing them, first of all, I just need to get back into the rhythm of it. And so this will be kind of like a mid-month check-in and then if there's anything that I either have like glossed over, skipped over, or you want some more information on or you have any ideas of like what I can talk about. I don't know if it's going to be a voiceover, if it's going to be chatty like walkthrough kind of like this, but I do intend to film a longer video in May sometime going through April. So without further ado, we can go ahead and get started. This is a Galen leather cover. I bought it for myself for my 26th birthday in 2018. I have my initials on it. It's really great. It has housed many A5 size journals throughout the years. And I do love that I'm back in an A5 and can use it again. So right here, I just have a Kermit sticker from Redbubble. And I actually went ahead and cut the stickers out from my common planner 
as you can see. And even these, like I love these and I might try to see if I can't take this one specifically off to put in my A5 as well. Let's see, here's my calendar page. Oh, I've been recording my workouts here. I'm in a little bit of a movement era. And these numbers right here are what um, Tombow dual brush pen I've been using. And so I've actually been trying, and I'm allowing myself rest days, but I'm trying to do like something with mindful movement, both in the morning and in the afternoon or evening. And this can seriously just look like breath work. It can look like deep stretching. So it's not like I'm doing active like hit classes both times, although there have been some days. But anyway, I thought that this was like a fun way to use your like daily view calendar. I don't even know what we're calling these. My friend Amy, Amy y'all on y'all tube. <laughs> you probably know who I'm talking about. If you don't, I will leave her link below, but I think that this is how she's using it, or at least she's done this in the past. So yeah, feeling very inspired. And I think I'll continue. That's the plan at least to continue to use it this way. I have my top fives. I'm sure I'm not the only person that has ever done this, but Yes, when I did post about it on my Instagram, people were like, wow, that is a great idea. I should do that too. And I was like, yes, you should. I used to have this book called Listography that was from like Borders in 2003. I don't know. My mom got it for me when I was in middle school and it just encouraged you to make lists of everything. And so I was feeling inspired to kind of like get back into that. Um, here, I'll try to, I'll find an old one. I did this in previous ones too. Yeah, so like this is what I posted a while ago and that's inspired a lot of people to do the same. So cars I've driven, pop, soda, road trips, colors, cereals, 90s movies. This is from two years ago. So I'll add some more as I feel like it. I just didn't want to force myself to fill up the whole page yet. Now, feast your eyes. This is my March 2024 page. The monthlies start the month before here. So I already started on April. I do get asked because I have, and again, sorry, I typically do this, at least in my 2022 cousin, I would do like monthly collages and I get asked like kind of how I set it up. And basically I did most of this for March in April. As you can see, I'm like kind of piecing together things for April right now. Um, this was kind of just a swatch. So I might cover up one of these. I might cover up both. I don't know yet. This is from a local pizza shop. This is from a bagel pop-up I went to. I was not in the line of totality for the eclipse that came across North America, but I was very close. And so we still did need those eclipse glasses. I cut this out of a magazine and I'll add pictures later. I'll probably finish this up in May. And so, yeah, again, this is what, um, an, I was about to say empty. Is that right? <laughs> blank. This is what a blank calendar page looks like. Moving into the weeklies here, show you a blank weekly just on the off chance that this is like your first exposure to a Hobonichi cousin, which by the way, is just the best. I don't even know. What would my life be without a Hobonichi cousin? I don't even want to think about it. All right. And as you can see, the calendars go up until May, 2025, which seems like such a far away time, but as we know, it'll be here before we know it. This is what my weeklies have been looking like. I've done this before, but I have like things on my mind, um, orders that I've been tracking. I have some little stickers here. These are from Amazon actually that I got for a friend's baby shower. And then these pretty, they came on a tape roll. They are from the washi tape shop. I actually have a code for them and I will leave it below. The washi tape shop kind of pops up here and there, they kindly gifted me a box for their spring launch. And so I've been like testing out some favorites. I work at a high school and we are on block scheduling. So this is just how it is on our school calendar. Yellow days are A days, blue days are B days. That kind of helps me just to get a quick glance. I do get asked about that a lot. People are like, well, what should I be doing? And I'm like, don't worry, this is very, very personal to me. Um, and sometimes it doesn't like go with the vibe, but I don't really care because it's functional for me. So here's another one kind of filled up. I do often get asked too about like, when do you fill these in? I kind of sit down on a Sunday and I'll look forward to the next week, but then like half of these were filled in later, if that helps, I don't know. 
I feel like with a lot of these things, I'm so happy to like answer any questions that you may have to like kind of explain my process, but I cannot stress enough. And I think it's worth repeating in every video and in posts that I share elsewhere online is that like, you just kind of have to find what works for you. And if you get inspiration from me, that is so wonderful, but I am doing what works for me because it works for me and whatever's going on in my life. Um, it's dependent on how much time I have to spend on my hobby that week. And it also depends on like what's going on at work. It depends on what you do for work. This is, see, I just love that when weeklies look kind of like this. There's a little bit of blank space. Doesn't mean I wasn't doing anything. Doesn't mean I won't go back and fill stuff in later. Doesn't mean I will. It is just, it's functional for me. There's little pops of color here and there. I'm using different pens. The pens that I use the most, not just here, but throughout my journal are, actually have this one. I'm going back to a 0.28. Isn't that wild? This is a Uniball Signo 0.28. I also really love the Pentel Energel Klana in 0 0.3, 0 0.4, and 0.5. This is a 0.3. Um, but right now, yeah, I'm using a 0.28, which is obviously just a little bit smaller than a 0.3. And then I also love the Tombow Funonosuke hard tip and soft tip. You kind of, will you be able to tell? The hard tip is blue. It's not actually blue, it's black, but blue. And black for soft tip. I prefer the hard tip mostly. Um, just because you can have a little bit more control, but I do use this one just as much. And yeah, I kind of like talk about what I am getting at the grocery store. I talk about where I went out to eat. Here are some more orders. I've been doing, I will talk a little bit more about the debt check-in in a second. And then this is this week. So as you can see, it's kind of emptier than I would like it right now. But like when I journal. Did I already mention this? Yes. Okay. So I'm going to journal with my friend at a coffee shop here in just a little bit, and I'll be able to kind of fill some things in here and there if I want to. Sometimes I just kind of leave it blank. And so I just have like the classes that I'm going to. Again, some, these are from Sticky Club actually. I love this sheet. It's just like super springy. I've been keeping it in my Galen leather cover. And yeah, I kind of, some weeks I go off like a vibe either with color or with a theme but sometimes I don't and here we have next week I turn 32 on Tuesday wow and so yeah like this is just kind of what it looks like the week before and then maybe tomorrow or maybe even this afternoon I'll go in and fill some things in I do get asked about this right here this is just the hours that I'm working more birthdays the following week Rachel, if you're watching this, I also know that it's your birthday on this day. I will add something, I promise. <laughs> now, this is actually kind of funny and a little sad. This is the last week of March, first week of April. I made this. This is a Tombow dual brush pen tracker. I looked at one of these pages years ago and I was like, you know what? This would be perfect. It was going unused and I was like, I'm going to track all of my Tombow dual brush pens on this thing. And so I did and then I kind of just... It's one of the first things I do when I set up a new journal when I move into something else. I did this on like a Sunday night in like February, like when I first got this and I let it sit. I let it sit right here. And there is a big old window that in the morning gets the most, I mean, it's the best natural light. It's a South facing window and the sun just shines right in. I left this here for like 10 days. And so a lot of these colors are actually pretty muted. So I'm going to collage over this page and actually do another tracker probably over here. Anyway. Okay. So like I said, I really just wanted to do like an unfussy update and we're already at unedited 16 minutes. So <sighs> I don't know how in depth I'm going to go and maybe I'll do that in the next video, but please do like while I'm going through this and touching on some things here and there, let me know what else you want me to talk about or let me know if there's like something that I didn't mention or a sticker where you want to know where it's from, whatever. And I'll try my best to gather my sources together before I make the April flip through in May. So again, I kind of just start every new journal with a vibe check. I wrote this on February 19th. So that was like the day or the day after I got this washi swatch, like what I had going on, playlist, this is a sticker from Redbubble from uh, it's Pine Grove Lyrics. I love Pine Grove, one of my favorite bands. 
These are some stickers from the washi tape shop and some washi. I love getting my little cutouts for magazines from Chicago Magazine, Milwaukee Magazine, Northwest Arkansas has a couple of periodicals, and then I also like Better Homes and Gardens, Martha Stewart Living, and Southern Living, if you just want to know like what I, what I use. This is really pretty. I printed something out. I bought one of the dresses off my newly. I found doodles of tulips on Google and I kind of just like referenced that on my MacBook while I was drawing and they turned out pretty cute, I think. Um, I am doing Not Afraid of Paper prompts. You guys know me, my alter ego is at Not Afraid of Paper. And I have to be honest about something regarding the prompts. I have loved making the prompts. I have loved the positive feedback and I've loved doing some, some of them myself, but I'm going to be real with you. I, uh, I don't need the prompts because I just like to do whatever. And sometimes I do them, but a lot of times I don't. And I am kind of dealing with that right now like trying to figure out like, okay, well, is it inauthentic to be like, well, here are all these prompts. Here are things you can do, but like, I don't use them. <laughs> I don't need them. It's not that I don't like them. It's just like, I just, <laughs> maybe the reason why I started the prompts is because like, it does just come so naturally for me. And I just can figure out what it is that I want to write about when I want to write it. Uh, you know what I'm saying? So I have done a couple of the not afraid of paper prompts. If you are new to my content or don't know about the prompts, I have been so far this year, releasing daily prompts, both on Instagram and on my Substack newsletter. The link to subscribe will be below. And so you can access those. You can go follow them in order. You can pick a few to do every week, whatever you want to do. It's literally up to you. Um, here's a good example of, Ooh, there's a helicopter that just flew right over my house. Fun fact though, I live very close to some members of the Walton family. And so that happens often. I think it's the Walton family helicopter, Northwest Arkansas lore. Okay. So this is a good example of like a blank ish page that I may go back in. Maybe this would be a good spot to do some prompts. Um, also <laughs> this is kind of silly. I have been vlogging every day in April on TikTok, and I have been eating one sour candy ball a day. And this is me just Someone asked me like, how do you incorporate whimsy into your journal? I don't know. I don't know if that's necessarily whimsical, but it's definitely weird. So I've just been like recording what color I've gotten. And then I also, I keep thinking I want to like redo my Instagram highlights. So editing Claire here, please look at me totally skipping over the sixth and the seventh. What? That was pretty crazy. I guess you're going to have to see it in my April flip through. <laughs> okay. Here's what, to me personally, maybe add a little bit more color, but like this is a good day, a good journaling day for me. I, I was kind of in my bag this week, like spending time before work intentionally, like sitting at my journaling desk at like 5.59 a.m. journaling and then taking some time to journal at the end of the day. So that's been fun. Um, I've been going to a lot of classes at a local studio. Here are some lyrics. I called, I couldn't remember the words for bottom teeth and so I called them lowercase teeth I just thought that was funny my friend Carly and I the one who I'm meeting up with later we went to Kings River Falls last weekend it was so fun so I printed out some pictures from that I use an Epson EcoTank 2850 is that right 2580 2850 yes and I like it I think I have this hot take that ever since printers started working predominantly on wi-fi they just like decide when they want to work and part of that's the wi-fi that's the issue but I don't know. People are always like, well, what printer do you use? What printer do you use? Listen, it's fine, but it's not perfect. You're never going to find a perfect printer. I'm sorry to tell you, but it's just true. Okay. I've been doing my weekly spending recaps. Um, those are fun. More on that later for sure. That's going to be something that I dive into as well. And so like I had a friend who had a pop-up at a local boutique. And so I'm going to like print pictures from that. Um, I had an SLP meeting and so the, the middle school SLP gave us these cute little like summer cups that change color and she put these on top. I just think it's so sweet. So of course that had to go in the journal. We are two, well, I haven't had the chance to do anything today, but we are two Thursday and Friday. Tortured Poets Department came out yesterday. 
I actually think I may paste something over this that goes more with her own graphics, I guess. What's the word I'm looking for? You know what I mean. Like I want to do TTPD in her style instead of this. This is fine, but I'm like, eh, I would rather have it look more true to um, the album itself. And then nothing for today. And then here is a weekly spending recap. Just so I don't lose my mind, I am keeping my debt to myself. I am not embarrassed about it. As you know, I've been in consumer credit card debt really since 2015 and right around 2021, 20, 2022, it got to the point where I just felt like it was really unsustainable and I really wanted to tackle it. And so I've been making steps to do that. And I had a couple of setbacks as recent as this month. And I just think I'm so open about it and I really don't mind talking about it at all. But if you know me from that kind of content or have been following me for a while, you know that it's just, it's taxing to kind of like do the back and forth with people who are just kind of like watching you and are not really like witnessing what you're going through. There have just been some things that I've had to deal with and so I'm dealing with them. But anyway, <laughs> regardless, I have been keeping tabs on what my balances are weekly and that is really helping me. Seeing this visual is very motivating for me and I highly recommend that if this is also something that you're going through. And also I've been just like writing every single thing that I purchased down in here. If you've been following me for a while or have seen some of my other videos, you might know that in 2023, I did that very thing in here and I had like a separate Hobonichi Weeks where I tracked that. And I just felt like I didn't need this space anymore. It just kind of worked out where I wanted everything in one place and I was realizing that it was not sustainable slash not realistic for me to be like filling up a whole A5 size page seven days a week. And so I think that using one page a week, I just chose Sunday. And then if I have something going on Sunday, I'll put it on the Saturday page. They can share a page. Um, yeah, I don't know. If you have more questions about that, please feel free to ask. Other than that, yeah, here's a blank daily page if you want to see what they look like. And yeah, I've been really loving it so far. Again, I will see you guys back here in just a couple weeks. And then you can kind of see like what I've added also to my pages since I've shared them because I do know that I will go back and add some things here and there, whether it's, um, you know, some cutouts for magazines or some pictures. Like here I have some things that I have recently printed out or cut out that I would like to add to my journaling pages. And so, yeah, here we are. We are back in a Hobonichi Cousin and it feels so good. I'm so happy. I'm back in a consistent journaling practice and I'm really excited to continue sharing with you. Okay, thank you all so much for watching. And I'm gonna just edit this really quickly and hopefully get it up later today. So again, if you if this is your first time seeing my videos, please check out some of my other ones. I typically am a little bit more thoughtful. I really enjoy doing voiceover chats and chatty plan with me's and journal with me's. Um, those have been really fun. So expect those in the future. And if you're interested in seeing some of those, I will leave a few in the down bar. All right. Have a great weekend and I will talk to you soon. Bye.